So one of the questions I've been asked is, are bills with only findings and declarations considered substantive bills, or are they just placeholders? As you're probably familiar with in the California legislature, we know that bills that lack uh, substantive provisions, changes in the law, are considered placeholder measures. Spot bills and intent bills are the most common ones. And the general rule is, is that bills that are just placeholders don't get referred to a policy committee by either the Senate Committee on Rules or the Assembly Committee on Rules. So in almost all instances, these placeholder bills, again, are either spot bills that make technical or non-substantive changes to statutes or intent bills that clearly state it is the intent of the legislature to do something as specified. But what about a bill that provides just legislative findings and declarations? In some instances, an introduced bill may contain just findings and declarations, codified or uncodified. Now, I've seen some that include a statement of intent following those findings and declarations. So it might be viewed more likely as an intent bill and maybe as a placeholder. But I think that the most likely answer is it depends on whether that bill would get referred to a policy committee and be viewed as a substantive bill rather than just a placeholder. Maybe the intent of the author, you know, does the author uh, plan to make substantive changes to it? That might can't come into play uh, as well. Ultimately, it's up to the respective rules committees whether a bill is eligible for referral to a policy or fiscal committee uh, and whether that bill is to be deemed substantive or just a placeholder and therefore not referred to committee. 